students welcome to chemistry tutorial in this video let's see class 6 science chapter 7 temperature and its measurement ncert solution with extra questions and answers first we'll see some ncert solutions the first question the normal temperature of a healthy human body close to dash 98.6 degree celsius second one 37.0 degree celsius 32.0 degree celsius 27.0 degree celsius the correct answer for this option 2 37.0 degree celsius Question number 2, 37 degree Celsius is the same temperature as dash. Yes, Celsius is given. We want to write it in Fahrenheit. Options are the first one, 97.4 degree Fahrenheit. Second one, 97.6 degree Fahrenheit. Third one, 98.4 degree Fahrenheit. Fourth one, 98.6 degree Fahrenheit. The correct option for this, fourth one, 98.6 degree Fahrenheit. Question number 3, fill in the blanks. First one, the hotness or coldness of a system is determined by its dash. Answer, temperature. The temperature of ice cold water cannot be determined by a dash thermometer. Answer, clinical thermometer. Third one, the unit of temperature is degree dash. Answer, Celsius. Question number four, the range of laboratory thermometer is usually dash. First one, 10 degree to 100 degree Celsius. Second one, 10 degree Celsius to 110 degree Celsius. Third one, 32 degree Celsius to 45 degree Celsius. Fourth one, 35 degree Celsius to 42 degree Celsius. The correct option, 2 minus 10 degree Celsius to 110 degree Celsius. Question number 5. Four students used a laboratory thermometer to measure the temperature of water as shown in 7.6. Why do you think followed the correct way of measuring temperature? Question number 1, student 1, student 2, student 3, student 4. The correct option is student 4. Next question number 6, color to show the red column on the drawings of thermometer figure 7.7 .7 as per the temperature written below. 14 degree, 17 degree and 7.5 degree. You want to draw it and color it. Next question number 7, observe the part of thermometer shown in figure 7.8 and answer the following questions. What type of thermometer is it? First one, laboratory thermometer second one what is the reading of the thermometer answer 26 degree celsius question number three what is the smallest value that this thermometer can measure answer minus 10 degree celsius next question number eight a laboratory thermometer is not used to measure a body temperature explain give a reason answer the thermometer should be kept inside a mouth when we take the reading of a body temperature the eye for reading the temperature has to be directly in line with the length with the level of the liquid in the thermometer to measure the temperature over a broader range and must be upright making unsafe for measuring body temperature for these reasons laboratory thermometer is not used to measure our body temperature Question number 9. Vaishnavi is not going to school as she is ill. Her mother has kept your, rec kept your record of her body temperature for 3 days as shown in the table 7.4. Here some questions are given below. First question. What was Vaishnavi's highest recorded temperature? See the tabular column and answer the question. First question. What was Vaishnavi's highest recorded temperature? That is answer 40 degrees Celsius. Second one. On which day at what time was Vaishnavi highest temperature recorded? day as well as time answer day 1 at 7 pm question number 3 on which day did Vaishnavi temperature return to normal only day they, they are asking only the day so answer is day 3 question number 10 if you have to measure the temperature 22.5 degree which of the following thermometers will you use figure, figure 7.9 explain first one in thermometer A, we can measure the smallest value of 1 degree. Only 1 degree. Uh, the divisions are 1 degree. In thermometer C, we can measure the smallest value of 2 degree Celsius. Only in thermometer B, we can measure the value of 0 0.5 degree Celsius, which is necessary for measuring the given temperature of 22.5 degree Celsius. Question number 11. The temperature shown by the thermometer in figure 7.10 is first one 28.0 degree celsius second one 27.5 degree celsius third one 26.5 degree celsius fourth one 25.3 degree celsius the correct answer second one 27.5 degree celsius question number 12 a laboratory thermometer has 50 divisions between 0 degree celsius and 100 degree celsius what does each division of the thermometer measure answer 2 degree celsius 
Question number 13. Draw the scale of a thermometer in which the smallest division rate 0.5 degrees Celsius. You may draw only the portion between 10 degrees Celsius and 20 degrees Celsius. Draw, draw a thermometer and then draw the scale of the thermometer that is the smallest division reads 0 0.5 you want to draw the portion between 10 degree and 20 degree question number 14 someone tells you that she has fever of 101 degrees does she mean it on the celsius scale or fahrenheit scale answer she means the temperature on the fahrenheit scale in the fahrenheit scale this range is between 95 degree fahrenheit to 107.8 degree fahrenheit next we'll see some extra questions and answer first question how to use digital thermometer answer wash the tip with a soap solution and water before and after use reliable measure of hotness or coldness of your body answer temperature third one name the device which is used to measure the temperature answer thermometer question number four what are the two kinds of thermometer answer the two kinds of thermometers are clinical thermometer and a laboratory thermometer question number five what is the purpose of using clinical thermometer answer clinical thermometers are used to measure a body human body temperature Question number 6. What is the purpose of using laboratory thermometer? Answer. Laboratory thermometers are used for measuring the temperature of substance in a laboratory and many other purposes. Question number 7. What scale is used in clinical thermometer? Answer. Celsius scale. Question number 8. How does the thermometer scale be measured? Answer. Thermometer scale can be measured using Celsius and Fahrenheit scale. Question number 9. Mercury thermometers are being replaced by digital thermometers. Why? Answer. Mercury is an extremely toxic substance and is difficult to dispose of if the thermometer breaks accidentally. Question number 10. How does non-contact thermometers work? Answer. Non-contact thermometers also called infrared thermometers. Such thermometers can measure temperature without touching a person's body and this reduces the risk of spreading diseases. Question number 11. Name the thermometer used heat sensors to measure the temperature. Answer. Digital thermometer. Question number 12. What precautions to be taken while using digital clinical thermometer? Answer. To be used after reading the instruction manual of the thermometer. Tip of the thermometer to be washed with soap and water before and after use. While washing care to be taken to keep, to keep the digital portion such as the display out of water. Do not hold the thermometer by the tip. The answers are given in the textbook also. Refer textbook also for this question. Question number 13. What is the normal temperature of a healthy human body? In degree Celsius, 37.0 degree Celsius or in Fahrenheit, 98.6 degree Fahrenheit. Next, question number 14. Do smaller children generally get have higher body temperature as compared to adults? Answer, yes, due to faster metabolism, smaller children generally have slightly higher body temperature. Question number 15, do old people, even when healthy, generally have lower body temperature than young adults? Answer, yes, due to slower metabolism and blood circulation, old people, even when healthy, generally have lower body temperature. Question number 16, what is the SI unit of temperature? Answer, Kelvin. Question number 17. How can we convert the temperature from degree Celsius to Kelvin? Answer. Temperature in Kelvin scale is equal to temperature in Celsius scale plus 273. We want to add the given value plus 273.15. Question number 18. Can a clinical thermometer be used for measuring the temperature of boiling water? Answer. Boiling water has a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius while the clinical thermometer has a range of 35 degree Celsius to 42 degree Celsius only. So, clinical thermometer not used for measuring the temperature of boiling water. Question number 19, sum. That is convert 5 degree Celsius to Kelvin scale. Temperature in Kelvin scale is equal to temperature in Celsius scale plus 273.15. We want to add degree Celsius plus 273. To convert Kelvin, we want to add the given uh, degree Celsius plus 273.5. So the correct answer 278.5 K. Question number 20. Convert 307 K to degree Celsius. For this case we want to subtract 273.1. To 
temperature in degree Celsius is equal to the given temperature in Kelvin minus 273. We want to subtract. So, 307 is a given value minus 273.15. The correct answer is 33.85 degree Celsius. Next, 21. How was the fever detector before thermometers were developed? In ancient time, they are asking the question. Answer, before thermometer was developed, people used to detect the fever by checking the pulse rate as fever affects it. Question number 22, what is the temperature range of typical laboratory thermometer? Answer, minus 10 degree C to 110 degree C. Question number 23, name the liquid used in laboratory thermometer. The liquid used in the laboratory thermometer is generally alcohol. The color that is a red colored to make it easily seen or otherwise mercury. But nowadays the mercury is not used, only alcohol is used. Next, question number 24. What is the lowest temperature of a laboratory thermometer it can measure? Answer, minus 10 degree C. 25, what is the highest temperature of laboratory thermometer it can measure? That is a laboratory thermometer. Answer, 110 degree Celsius. What is the range of laboratory thermometer? Answer, minus 10 degree Celsius to 110 degree Celsius. 27, what precautions to be taken while measuring laboratory thermometer? Answer, handle with the care if it has hits against some hot objects, it can break. Do not hold it by the bulb. Question number 28, how much is the temperature difference indicated between the two bigger marks in laboratory thermometer? Answer, 10 degree centigrade. Question number 29, how much divisions shown by smaller marks are there between these two bigger marks in laboratory thermometer? Answer, 10 division. Question number 30, how much temperature does one small division indicate in laboratory thermometer? Answer, 1 degree Celsius. 31, can we use laboratory thermometer for measuring body temperature of a person? Answer, no. Laboratory thermometers cannot be used for measuring body temperature of a person. Next, question number 32, what are the temperatures of ice and boiling water? Answer, ice, that is a melting point of ice is 0 degree Celsius and the boiling point of water is 100 degree Celsius. Question number 33, what is the role of weather station in measuring air temperature? Answer, air temperature is an important weather parameter and it's monitored at weather stations all over the world. The data gathered on air temperature along with various other parameters are used for making weather forecast. Question number 34, explain the correct way of measuring temperature using a laboratory thermometer. Answer, when the thermometer is immersed in water, its bulb should not touch the bottom of the sides of the beaker. Thermometers should be held vertically, it should not be tilted. The temperature must read while thermometer is immersed in water. While reading with thermometer, the eye should be directly in line with the level of the liquid column to be read. To be read. Uh, already answers are given in the textbook. Question number 35. Write the temperature differences in summer season and winter season. Answer. In summer season, the temperature rises and during the winter season, the temperature falls. That's all. The lesson gets over. If you want more videos and nangapora video orane unglo vande share ano like, share and subscribe Chemfree tutorial. We'll meet in the next video. Thank you.